Hello there and welcome to the Gummy Yoshi channel. Thank you for clicking on the video and with a new season, season three, which we are about a week into, we have new competitive events. So I'm going to be doing a quick breakdown of all of the new events and everything you are going to be needing to expect in the next upcoming season. So let's jump right into it. To start it off, we have the standard hype nights. Now these run every Sunday in your region based on where you live. It's different. It's a different time, but these typically run from 5 to 8 p.m. local time for every place. So I am on NA East. So these run on 628, 5 to 8 p.m. for me. Now, the scoring system on these is up on the screen right now. The scoring system in-game is kind of broken. But basically what it is, it is Victory Royale is 14 points. Then you've got 2nd is 11, 3rd, 10, 4th, 5th, 9. And you basically get points once you start hitting 75th place. So placement is actually pretty easy to get in this. All you have to do is out survive 25 people. Along with that... Uh, each elimination is one point. Now, this means that you can get as many eliminations as you want. There is no elimination cap for how many points you can get. So, uh, this is going to be a complete W key fest of everybody trying to get as many kills as possible. Now, Hype Knight Plus. This is a different one. As Hype Knight, you just queue up for and do that. Hype Knight Plus is the same scoring format except you actually have to use some of your hype to get into it so as you can see the prize pools are much bigger for hype night plus that being said you need to make a bus fare when initially entering the match so i think it is a th uh, it is a 300 hype bus fare to enter so hype night plus is a lot more high risk high reward if you think you can get that top one percent and make back all that hype then you're going to get so much from it. But if you're not feeling confident in your abilities or you just want to play a more of a casual thing to try and get some hype, then Hype Knight is the thing for you, not Hype Knight Plus. Now, next we're going to be moving on to the upcoming event. It isn't on the, here anywhere. It is actually the FNCS Chapter 2 Season 3. Now, this season's FNCS is going to be solos yet again. For this season's FNCS, they haven't actually given us a scoring system quite yet, but they have given us dates on when they're going to happen. So basically, how it's going to work is there's going to be four FNCS qualifiers. Now, the first one of these is going to be happening on August 1st. So you have loads of time to prepare the entire month of July. So you've got some time before FNCS starts. But basically, the first qualifier is going to be on August 1st. First. The second one is going to be on August 2nd, so it's ba two back-to-back -back days. I didn't look up the dates, but I'm going to assume that those are a Saturday, Sunday, as they usually like to do those on weekends. And then the second set of qualifiers is on the next weekend, so August 8th and August 9th. Those are the third and fourth qualifiers, respectively. And then after that, the highest ranking people will qualify for the finals, which is August 14th to August 16th. So, they have not announced the scoring system yet or how it's going to be playing out or who, like how many spots are going to be qualifying for the finals, but those are the dates for the FNCS. Now let's keep moving on onto the next one. So next, they haven't been announced officially in game yet, but they have announced them officially on the Fortnite Twitter. So basically, we are going to be getting daily trio cash cups. Now, if you remember last season, we actually had daily duo cash cups, but this season is going to be daily trio ones. Now, the scoring system is going to be slightly different for this, but similar in a sense. In 25th place, you will start getting placement points. Now, this may sound much harder to get to, but when you think about it, there are three people in each trio. If you have 25th placement, that's basically 75 people left. So, it's, it's about the same placement system, it just looks a little bit different. Along with that, in this one, there is also the 20 elimination cap per match. So, once your team gets 20 eliminations, you can't get any more points for the eliminations. Now, this is also going to help it out so much with the W King. There's not going to be as many teams just pushing every single fight they see, as it's not really worth it once you get past 20 eliminations to risk going for those kills. Now, prize pools are spread out. It's going to be about $1,200 for uh, PC on all regions. So they actually have the same prize pool, but these only award money to the first, second, and third placers for these 
daily cups. Next, we have one of the more complicated tournaments. So this one is a bit too difficult to understand as I'm reading it here on the uh, Fortnite thing, but I'm going to sum it up in a very quick way that's easily understandable for you guys. So basically, there are going to be cash cups. Now, I'm thinking these are going to be weekly and not daily. That's my guess. And there's going to be different uh, ones of them that are on different days of the week. So there are three in total. There is the standard cash cup for all platform it is a platform cash cup now these are going to be split into three platforms the pc cash cup which with all of the prizing there's different prizing for europe na east na west brazil asia oce middle east all of those regions there's different prizing for it they all scale down in the way that i said them so europe has the highest uh prize pool na east has the second highest na west with the third highest brazil fourth highest asia fifth highest oce sixth highest and middle east with the lowest now they base these money counts off of how many players are in that area so don't feel like your region doesn't get as much money just because it's your region it's purely based off of how much money they make from those regions next we have the xbox and ps4 cup that is separated into their own uh platform cash cup it is the exact same prize pool as the other ones do or sorry as the pc ones do and then finally there is actually a mobile and switch which is with its own specific platform cash cup now this one has lowered prize pools as not as many people play on mobile and switch but still it's cool that they've given mobile and switch their own cash cups now the next part is where we get interesting into the contender cash cup so basically there are going to be two different types of cash cups from here the contender cash cup and the champion cash cup now the contender cash cup you can only play in if you are in contender league so from what i'm understanding in this is that you can't be in champion league i could be wrong here in saying this but i think that you actually have to be in the contender league now do not make an alternate account and play in this uh in this tournament because in fortnite's new updated policy rules they can ban your account if you are caught smurfing on a separate account in the contender cash cup so do not play in this if you think it's going to be easier and you're just making a second account for it as you can be really punished for it. And finally, we have the Champion Cash Cup. Now, this is where all the big boys are. So this is for the Champion League in Arena. If you have enough points, then you get to be into this Champion Cash Cup. And basically, it's the same thing as the Contender and the Standard Platform Cash Cup, except its prize pool is a little bit higher. Well, actually, no, sorry. The, pla the, uh, the prize pool is actually lower. My bad. The highest prize pool is actually just Platform 1, with the Champion League one being the second highest, and then the Contender one being the lowest. Now, what is special about the Champion Cash Cups and the Contender Cash Cups is that they don't have the uh, console split. So there is one prize pool for every single device, whether you're playing on PC or PS4. You are going to be in the same prize pool. But for the Platform Cash Cups, the prize pools are separated based on what input you're using, or sorry, not what input, but what console or what thing you are currently playing on. Now, there are two tournaments left that we have, and these are actually third-party tournaments, not run directly by Epic, but are still very prevalent and are going to be super fun to play. So, the first one is the DreamHack Open. Now, if you don't know, DreamHack is this uh, LAN tournament that you can go to, but you have to bring your own computer. Now, with the whole uh, virus thing that's going on right now, obviously, they can't be having a LAN event. So, they've decided to do a monthly tournament in Fortnite where you can uh, actually, anyone can sign up for for it. So signups are unfortunately not open yet, but the schedule will be up on your screen right now. As you can see, these are all the times for NA East, Europe, and NA West. Now, sadly, there's no Oceania tournament or like Middle East tournament, but you can still technically play on these servers and just have higher ping. And if you're insanely good like Benji Fishy, you'll be able to pull it off. Now, the placement system is a bit different than the standard conventional Fortnite ones. The DreamHack system is widely agreed upon as the best scoring system in the Fortnite community, and it'll be on screen right now. But basically what it is, is once you hit 50th place, you get one point. And every placement you go up from there, you get another point until you reach top three. 
Once you hit third place, then you start gaining points like crazy. And you start getting seven, eight points per placement. And eventually, if you win the game, you will get 60 points just from placement. So you can get so many points from placement. It really it disencourages W King and it makes the games a lot more fun to watch and honestly, a lot more fun to play, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Now, the final tournament that I'm going to touch on is the Lockies Trio Cup. Now, this cup is actually signing. You can only sign up for it on his Twitter account, so I'll actually link the sign-up link down below if you do want to sign up for that, but this is a Trio Cup. So, Lachlan is a YouTuber based out of Australia, so you're probably thinking that if you don't live in Australia, you won't be able to compete in this tournament. Now, that was initially true, but they have added a North America version to this tournament. So, if you actually live in North America, you can still compete in this trio tournament with a $10,000 prize pool in each region. So it's definitely worth it to shoot your shot and, sh and see if you and your teammates can actually get to the top of the leaderboard. So if there were any tournaments that you guys think I missed, please just leave them in the comments down below. And then as people scroll down, they'll be able to see them as well. So help me out here. If I did miss any, then please tell me about them. I tried to find all the ones that I could. If I did miss any, just tell me down below. I won't be offended. It'll honestly help uh, help me out. If you did find the video helpful, then please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching the video and just giving me some of your time. It really means a lot to me. Consider subscribing. We're almost to 50 subscribers, so maybe you could be the person to boost me there. So please consider subscribing. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.